Hi everyone, I'm Sonny from Swan Bullion, and today we have three coins from the Royal Mint. We have the Tudor Beast, Yale of Beaufort, Silver Bullion coins in 2 ounce and 10 ounce, as well as the 2023 Britannia 1 ounce Silver Bullion coin with the Queen's Effigy. Just a reminder to follow us on our socials over on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube to keep up to date on all our releases. At the Hampton Court Palace, 10 stone beasts line the moat bridge, representing the lineage of Henry VIII and his third wife, Jane Seymour. Consisting of real beasts and mythical creatures, the Royal Mint is honouring these heraldic symbols of one of the nation's most powerful dynasties with the Royal Tudor Beast Collection. The first release in the Tudor Beast series was a Seymour Panther, followed by the Lion of England, and now the third coin release and second in the Bullion line, the Yale of Beaufort. So the reverse of this coin features David Lawrence's depiction of the mythical Yale of Beaufort. The Yale is a mythical beast with the characteristics of an antelope or goat depending on the imagination of the artist and their desire to portray grace and elegance or strength and determination. In David Lawrence's depiction, the spotted Yale can be seen with the tusks of a boar. It is standing on its hind legs and is holding the Seymour family coat of arms of Jane Seymour, the wife of King Henry VII. The reverse also features a chainmail surface animation background texture providing additional security. The inscriptions Yale of Beaufort as well as the 2 ounce weight, 4.9 silver fineness and the 2023 year date are present on the reverse. We can see the thickness of the coin is actually double the 1 ounce. It has the same diameter but it has double the thickness. On the obverse we have the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II over a patterned background with five pounds denomination. It's very simple, it's very clean, and it's very nice. It's not much more we can say about that. Next, onto the 10 ounce. Here you can see the same design as the two ounce, but with much more scale. You can see how the background chainmail texture looks much smaller in relation to the Yale. This creates a better separation between the foreground design and the background. I feel it looks so much cleaner, and this is a great example of why larger coins can be the better designs in series releases. The only differences in reverse inscriptions is their 10 ounce weight. On the obverse we can see that same difference in background scale, and a 10 pounds denomination instead. Love the cleanness here. Let's compare them next to each other. Are you a Tudor Beast fan? And if so, which size did you prefer? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, onto the Britannias. The rumours are that these coins were minted for only one week, stopping production at the Queen's passing. As a lot of mints tend to future date their coins, this coin has a 2023 year date even though the Queen passed away in September of 2022. Rather than remelt this production and reproduce the 2023 Britannias with King Charles III's effigy, the Royal Mint will be releasing the Queen's Effigy coins. News via the Royal Mint is that the 2023 Britannia with King Charles III's Effigy will be released in the new year. This makes the coin unique with the last Effigy of Queen Elizabeth and the new Effigy of King Charles on the same coin release. When it comes to the design of the coin, it is the same as last year's release. The reverse featuring an image of Lady Britannia walking at sunrise with a trident in one hand and an olive branch and shield in the other. The coin features the same security features introduced in 2021. A latent image changes from a padlock to Britannia's famous trident. Surface animation brings the background of waves to life. Britannia's shield bears the Union flag, which is accented with tincture lines, and the microtext around Lady Britannia provides both decoration and protection. It is laser inscribed, Desus et Tutaman, translating to an ornament and a safeguard. Let's have a look at the obverse. There is the effigy of the Queen with two pound denomination. I know not everyone is a fan of the royal effigies, but these Britannia effigies do look rather good with that pattern background. If you'd like to get one of these, they'll be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.